Flores' trial started last July, and in October of 2022, a jury found him guilty. In just the past few days, we've obtained many pieces of evidence that were shared during the trial. Evidence that until recently, Monterey County Superior Court said would not be made available until after sentencing. I sorted through multiple photos, maps, audio clips, and even a video interview to give you a closer look. Uh, is there anything else that you've told us that you didn't think was no. a big deal? No. That you haven't told us the truth? No. How do we know that? Take my word for it. Kiss. That's Paul Flores during an interview at the Arroyo Grande Police Department on June 19th, 1996. Former DA investigator William Hanley on the left and on the right, his partner Larry Hobson. In that conversation, Paul was questioned many times on how he got a black eye. Why was it so hard for you to tell us that you got that black eye hit in the steering wheel? It didn't really matter. What do you mean it didn't matter? It was days later, so, so why would it? If it didn't matter, then why did you lie about it? Well, well, it doesn't matter if I leave out little details. This 48-minute video is one of the many items just released by the Monterey County Superior Courthouse following Paul and Rubens Flores a months-long trial. You're not acknowledging any of this ever happened, and yet all these other people are telling us it did happen. I guess I had a blackout at that time then. The trial evidence includes photos of Kristen Smart's belongings found in her dorm, a handwritten letter from Denise Smart to her daughter in 1996, and the dirt samples taken from Ruben Flores' home on White Court in Arroyo Grande. The other thing I need you to do is to start listening to the podcast. I need you to listen to everything they say so we could punch holes in it. Um, wherever we can punch holes, maybe we can't. You, you're the one that can tell me. That was a wiretap of a phone call between Paul and his mother, Susan Flores, on January 26, 2020. It was played in court during the trial, but due to limitations by the judge, only still photography was allowed, meaning only those in the courtroom could hear the interview firsthand. There is also audio from May 19, 2021, when San Luis Obispo County Sheriff's Detective Clint Cole collected DNA samples from Ruben Flores, Susan Flores, and her boyfriend. Well, they haven't committed no felonies. Well, I can't respond. Me. I can't respond. I mean, I mean, I'm only the one who's been arrested. And an initial interview with Paul Flores and Cal Poly Police on May 30th, 1996. What did she say? Uh, do you remember any of the conversations you had walking up the hill? No, she just said she was... The only thing I remember is she was saying she was freezing. That's okay. Was there any uh, talk of... Uh, you know, get together and no, no, that nature. Nothing at all. Paul Flores is currently in custody at the San Luis Obispo County Jail awaiting this Friday's scheduled sentencing. He's facing 25 years to life behind bars. If you miss anything or need a recap, you can head to our website for full coverage of the Kristen Smart case. Just scan this QR code on your screen with your phone's camera. It will take you to the Kristen Smart case section on KSBY.com. We can find everything that you need to know about the 26-year long case.